Like 17 years after Nicholas Hood was sentenced for crimes committed right here in Hamilton, his case is headed back to Butler County courtroom this week. And this time, Hood is the one fighting for early release. It's all over a clerical error. Hamilton Central Avenue, once this family's safe haven, their home. Then came June 28, 1999. It was the worst day, I think, of all of our lives. And what we had to see was nothing compared to what my sister lived through. Mary's sister was 22 at the time. She was home alone at their grandpa's house next door, which has since been torn down. A stranger broke through a window. Just got that feeling that I was being watched, but I was asleep. And so I opened my eyes in my bed and he was crouched down next to my bed. He tied her up with telephone and iron cords. Blindfolded me stuffed something down my throat so I couldn't scream, and then raped me for hours. 12 hours later, when Nicholas Hood was arrested, he still had his victim's blood on him. He pleaded guilty to aggravated burglary, kidnapping, and rape, sent to prison for 20 years, and then was sentenced to another three years for sexual battery of another young woman. Does he want to get revenge? Does he want to come after me? I don't, I don't know. Hood has served 17 of the 23-year sentence and is asking to be released early. He's citing a clerical error on sentencing documents that has since been corrected. And have sent our family into a, a little bit of a tailspin again of how do we protect, what do we do. Together, this family is standing strong, asking friends and family to write letters to the judge. Their biggest worry. I don't feel like any woman is safe with him out. And the sex crime against the other young woman actually took place prior to the rape here on Central Avenue, but Hood wasn't locked up at the time. He was free on the streets, and that's why this family really worries about other women in the neighborhood if he was to be released early. Reporting live in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.